how soon should we expect a response from the devs in regards to these ISO 8 requirements for these Doom Raids? Well, we had some clarity provided by Cerebral last night, and we're going to discuss that and uh, what kind of time frame we should expect a response from the devs in regards to this. Also, Cerebral provided some clarity about Nebula because she is nowhere to be farmed right now. Not available on any node, not available on any store, but looks to be a very important part of this Infinity Watch team. More clarity provided regarding that. And bugs in Dark Dimension 4, they are still existent right now we're going to talk about some of these bugs that are still going on in dark dimension 4 one of which i experienced this morning on stream we're going to talk about that and cerebral's response to when we can expect these bugs fixed so if you guys are all ready for that yeah find that like button and let's go smash it Valley flying. all right all right all right what is up valley maniacs i am valley of flying welcome back to the valley of flying channel i hope you're having a great day and i hope you're ready to get some insight onto why some of these decisions from the devs take so long it seems like they have a lot of red tape to go through we're discussing that also some clarity about nebula i know a lot of long time players already have her at seven stars but some newer players mid game players that had no reason to farm her previously may not and uh yeah some some news expected on when we can expect to see some uh fountainable locations for very soon and bugs still many many bugs going maybe not many but there's still bugs in dark dimension 4 we're going to talk about and uh cerebro provided some clarity on when we could expect uh some changes coming to this to, to make this dark dimension 4 working correctly now uh, if this is your first time here guys hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you get notified as soon as a new video is up and we upload videos on Marvel Strike Force. We're going to continue to cover some Marvel Future Revolution as well. But without further ado, let's go check out the feedback provided by Cerebro on the Envoy server. This is a public section of the Envoy server last night. And this in regards to their process that they need to go to to make announcements, to change things. So this is what he said. And this was in response to a question provided yesterday on can we expect to see some news from the devs and regarding these ISO 8 requirements for the Doom Raids. And if you guys haven't been following what is going on with this, uh, it looks like the first strike iteration of Doom Raids are going away. But uh, when the new ones come back, uh, content that we can enter, can do uh, reasonably, reasonably at this time, uh, might not be able to even enter it uh, with these new requirements. So uh, most of the community is hoping they go back on this. As of right now, as it was announced in the blog post last night, First five nodes of every node of Dark Dimension, uh, not Dark Dimension, the Doom Raids, level four ISO required every node after that level five, which seems very, very steep to players and uh, outrage. So the question was posed in the Envoy chat. Can we expect a, some kind of response from devs yesterday? So this was Cerebra's response yesterday about the ISO 8 requirements. No. And this is their order of operations that they go to to provide feedback to the community. And this is, I guess this is some insight on why this whole entire process takes so long to get back to the community. Why there's sometimes when they're waiting for a response. Uh, it, it's, they, they, it seems like they have a lot of hoops to go through. And you guys said it best yesterday in the response to this. I did post this on Twitter. I did post it on the community channel of YouTube. But you guys said it best. If only they would go through this detailed process to get feedback to the community as they would to release features in their game, I think there would be a lot less issues because uh, I don't know what their exact process is, but what it seems like as a consumer, someone that spends money in their product, they it seems like they don't test their stuff at all. They just release it to the public, which is why we get so many game-breaking decisions, uh, game-breaking features, bugs that are entered into the game. So his response, the ISO 8 requires not he hearing anything yesterday as uh, and as yesterday's gone, we know that, but hopefully we get some clarity today. All right, so, so the order of operations is this. We announce things. Then we give it time for many players to see it, consider it, and provide feedback. This is why they're usually announcing things on Fridays for those blog posts. And uh, yeah, it seems that they're very out of touch with uh, with someone that plays this game at a hardcore level, that plays this game on a daily basis with some of the requirements of uh alliances that that this iso 8 requirements are going to be very problematic for because not only do you it, it makes the alliance recruiting process so complicated not only do you have to make sure that uh, people coming into your new alliance are coming in new new recruits into your alliance have enough collection power to do the content that you guys are doing now you're gonna have to make sure they have the iso 8 requirements if they don't roll back on this and I, i'm still thinking they're gonna roll this back i think it was a uh misstep that they announced but 
Uh, yes, so they're giving it time for players to provide the feedback. So yes, we are providing the feedback. Very negative, these requirements. Let the players figure it out. Let us have fun. Don't hamstring us behind these requirements. Let, it, let us decide if our rosters are strong enough to enter these raids. Don't, don't, don't make that decision for us. Don't make it a cookie cutter that everybody has to do the same things. All right, they collect and prioritize feedback. And I think that's what they were doing yesterday. And hopefully they... Uh, they, they, they read the feedback. Very, very negative. I present the feedback in a meeting where it's discussed. And normally these meetings are on Mondays where he provides this to the team. And so that was discussed yesterday. So uh, I, I think all of this thing happened yesterday. And then uh, some of this stuff towards the bottom is what we're still waiting on. Potential actions are considered. People will break off to explore them. And there's plans that are presented. And I hope one of the plans is eliminate the requirements of uh, ISO 8 or a lot of the requirements for the Doom Raids. Let the players figure it out. This is a game. We should have fun with it. We should be able to figure things out and, and test things. That's, that's part of the fun. So I hope that was one of the plans and I hope that's one that they're going to go with. Feedback is provided by the stakeholders. And I guess... I guess this is different than shareholders in, uh, in in companies. You guys were discussing that with me in the live stream this morning. Stakeholders could be important people in the companies. In some instances, not in this instance, not with Marvel Strike Force, but in some instances, the stakeholders are the actual consumers of the product. But uh, it, it's meshed with the stakeholders, which, which they could be playing this game or could not. I know that there's some devs that do play this game. I'm not sure if these stakeholders that that are involved in this uh, in this feedback process do actually play this game. Very confusing. They may just be looking at the numbers, which is why we're getting so many uh, friendly to scopely player decisions, but not friendly to the player base uh, as far as the decisions. So this this may be where some of the disconnect is with the stakeholders. But again. The stakeholders are different in every company. I'm not sure exactly who is the stakeholder in Boundless, aka Scopely's case here. A final proposal is made with a plan to estimate dates attached. And this is, I'm hoping this comes very, very soon. A draft of messages is prepared, written. Then stakeholders again get input at this point, reviewing the messages and giving feedback. And messaging is published at the appropriate date. Yeah, so... Very detailed process just to get feedback to that blog post. Uh, some some things that I hope they do in the future. Get feedback from some of the players. Get feedback from some of the envoys. There's a lot of envoys that provide feedback a lot of times in the envoy chat, in the envoy Discord server. I'm not sure how much of it is taken or not, but in instances like this, major game changes, the people that play this game every, uh, all, every day, they should be able to provide some valuable feedback to the folks over at Scopely. Uh, there are a lot of variables in this. It can take days or weeks. I hope it's more on the days and not on the week, especially plural weeks. That, that, and that is if action is taken. Now, uh, this is their general thing, but I think there should they, they should be taking uh, some um, action as far as ISO 8. Now, there was also some messaging on Reddit yesterday from Cerebro. He, he was busy giving out messaging. Uh, there, was, there was some radio silence for a while from Cerebro and Zeeks, but yesterday he, he did uh, and provide some clarity on Reddit to a few different things. So let's go there. Now, this is this was discussed in the mailbag a little bit yesterday about some, some grand tinfoil hat scheme. Was there some next level planning involved in, uh, in this? And th this is the example here. So it's evident Scopely continues to increase the goalpost with the recent introduction of ISO 8 Tier 5 from Doom Rays. However, you guys fail to acknowledge is that the excessive requirement is a marketing ploy, implement a lesser extent the goalpost, uh, then eventually meet that requirement down the road. So example here. So th this is what Cerebro responded to right here, meaning Scopely goes further than their actual intent in order to gauge feedback and observe comments then scales it back based on the pr feedback provided. This is a win-win for Scopely and a loss for the player base. I, I agree. Uh, but Cerebro did respond to this. All right, so Scopely, let's implement a tier three ISO 8 requirement for Doom. But before doing this, why don't we announce tier five and see how the players react? Player base, Scopely, oh, this is trash. Tier five is plain ignorant, calls out 90, cancels 99% of the alliances who are currently doing the Doom raids. How about tier four, which seems like more acceptable? And Scopely, in response to that, says, Hi, it looks like the player place would only be okay with tier four instead of tier three. Sure, we'll make it happen. Sim announced this, and we're we're haphazardly scaling the requirements further back as intended. As the player base, as we got this valuable feedback from the player base, we'll reduce the requirements. So uh this particular Reddit poster was calling out Cerebro's buff, uh bluff, excuse me. But let's go, let's go to and here's some examples. As, uh, the Red Guardian got rolled back from 1250 to 975. Silver Surfer shards in the milestones at 28. Now they're back at 20. 
and a ISO 8 requirement for the Doom Raids. Also, Power Core event. I forgot about that one. 5,000 Power Cores for the recent event got reduced to 3,000. But let's see Cerebro's response to this. And it kind of is in line with what uh, what my my guess was yesterday uh, before he responded to this. So, uh, Cerebro's response in response to that, uh, meaning Scopely goes further than her actual intent to gauge feedback, observe comments. All right, so his response and 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 this was kind of in line with why what i thought yesterday don't and i can't remember the exact quote but don't attribute to malice what could easily be explained by incompetence so here's what cerebro said you're giving us too much credit if we were able to be that deliberate it would be put to use in a much more productive way sometimes we simply miss the mark and it seems like they're missing the mark more often than not and that's where that feedback for provided beforehand, before these things are announced publicly from some some people. I, I, I'm not aware of how much they play at, uh, at Scopely. I know they have their dev builds. I'm not, and I'm sure they play on that a lot, but I'm not sure if they're aware of some of the farther reaching ramifications from this, uh, like Alliance recruiting, like like the, gr the, the grind, the, the, the crunch that we have on ions, that we have on a lot of these uh, ISO 8 crystals. Which is fine if we're building up our, our, our characters naturally, but to make it a requirement, going from zero to all the way to level five, man, 80, what is it, 81, 87, I forget how much, but a lot of a lot of crystals for that. All right, so sometimes we miss the mark we're shooting for and have to correct it. Player feedback helps us know how by how much. So yes, this, this is a big miss. Uh, by, by how much? Uh, level three is fine. Level three is not that difficult to equip. You want to make a requirement for level eight or for ISO eight. As far as that, start with that. That's that's what I would say. So hopefully we we get some clarity on this ISO eight issue very very soon. Let's take a look at his, another response to Nebula. Where is Nebula? This this is another one that has a dev response, guys. Nebula being including a newly announced Infinity Watch team. Non-launch players, I want a way to farm Nebula. It, I, it imagine my surprise when I go back and potentially farm her. No, no, she was on two. There's nothing now. And uh, yes, I, I totally forgot that there's no way to farm Nebula. But Cerebro did respond. He said, we'll have an announcement soon on Nebula uh, and her availability very, very soon. So hopefully that uh, eases up the farming crunch for new players. And, and let's talk about more bugs that are still not fixed. The ability bug in Dark Dimension 4. For, so for anybody that is in Dark Dimension 4 right now, you may or may not have run across this. I've been seeing reports of this in the Envoy chat for a long time now. I'm surprised it was still going on. I experienced it firsthand this morning on stream with you guys. And I'm going to detail what exactly happened to me. But it's not just that abilities are bugged. There's also some health bugs going on as, as well. So frustrating. There's, there's been a lot of uh, bugs in Dark Dimension 4 where characters don't spawn with abilities despite having the full ability energy at one of their previous attempts. This 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 is this has been reported a long time ago. I don't know why it has not been addressed yet. I'm aware that this bug uh, before I even started Dark Dimension now months later and I it, it may be months. I am not I'm not I'm not sure. It it, it it seems like it's months though. Uh but yeah. Uh, on the final note of City, I'm actually crawling through this uh, at a snail place because as long as this thing, shite, I'm venting frustration at this point because I know Scopely won't fix it before other slew of shite that they have created for themselves at first. Yeah, there's so many bugs. I think it's very easy to lose track of some of these game-breaking bugs. This makes Dark Dimension 4 not fun. Now, now I have not experienced any of these first until this morning. I'm going to detail what has happened this morning, but it wasn't with abilities. It was with health, not healing up. So... Cerebra. I'm also frustrated that this has not been fixed yet and recently got more involved to raise the level of urgency. I'm not sure why the level of urgency was not raised on this previously all those months ago, but I think with all these uh, all these bugs that are introduced, they, they're kind of on damage control mode and not going back on uh, really fine-tuning the game, which, which, is, which should have done a long time ago. So if they only had their QA process, not introducing more new bugs, I think this could have been handled a long time ago. Frustrated, this has not been... Uh, released yet not been fixed yet recently gotten more involved raise the level urgency i don't have a quite 100 confirmation on this we should be able to address this in 5.5 so if if my memory serves me i think this is a bug back in 5.2 people complaining about this uh but yeah it is, yes this is this is an issue let's scroll down all right and this this is a response from one of the players because it hurts the players there's no urgency to it and uh that's not the reason but you're correct in that we should have addressed this with a greater sense of urgency. I'm following the topic like a hawk until we get a fix that uh, in the can. So, yeah. 
I hope Cerebro is on the job. I hope he's, I hope he's working. I hope he is uh, directly owning this fix. But let, let's talk about what happened this morning on the live stream as far as bugs in Dark Dimension 4. So start it off. We're on node eight Dark Dimension 4. This is our third run. So not on a huge time crunch here. I'm actually doing it just to test out different teams for you guys on live stream. Also want that cool new border for my avatar. But as you can see, start off the day fresh. Hella doesn't have her health. What the heck is going on? So we take Thanos in, finish up the node. We're going on to level uh, node nine here. And as you can see, Thanos, Thanos did die in node eight. So that's fine. But Hella. Full back to health. What the heck is going on? So we take her into battle, putting her into this spot, and she comes in. She spawns with this health that's all the way down here. What the heck? I quit out of the battle, go out, and I come back, and I look. Oh, wait. It shows that she has full health. Why is she going in with your next, the not, not full health? Almost dead, actually. So we go in. I try to use one of these charges. As you can see, I have a bunch of these charges, and I'm not really using them. So no, no foul for me personally, because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not using them. I, I'm not, I'm not rushing to get to Dark Dimension Four anymore. But as you can see, we are not able to heal Hella. So we take, we, we quit the game, come in again, and then oh, once we restart the game, she comes back, no health. So we are able to heal her. So for me personally, it didn't affect me too much. But yeah, very, very annoying. And hopefully this is something that would be fixed very, very soon. Uh, that is it, guys. Uh, when are these bugs going to be fixed? When are we going to get a response to these ISO 8? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. And uh, yes, hopefully we get some more clarity from, uh, from Scopely and Cerebro and Boundless very, very soon on a lot of these issues. Nebula. The ISO 8 requirements and the bugs, the many, many bugs of Dark Dimension 4. And these are the ones we know about. If there's any other bugs in Dark Dimension 4 going on right now, let me know in the comments and hopefully we can get a bunch of fixes for Dark Dimension whenever they decide to do these. But uh, yes, that 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 hopefully this provides some clarity for you guys on why it takes so long for these bugs. Hopefully this uh, is a step for them to know that they have to fix some of these QA issues before releasing a lot of their content to the public because... Yeah, with all these new bugs that are introduced, some of these older bugs like Dark Dimension are kind of being pushed back because they're not as pressing as some of these more game-breaking bugs. Uh, but those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts, guys, and hopefully we continue to push them, continue to push the salt and uh, get some get some responses that the community is not happy with some of these recent decisions and hopefully make a better game for all of us, which 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 honestly also helps Scopely make more money. Uh, I spend more money when I'm happy at the game. So hopefully they provide more happiness, more fun in the game. That's my goal. That's 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 what I want for this game. And uh, if not, Marvel Future Revolution is coming, guys. And I'm going to be covering it on this channel as soon as we get some big updates. So I will see you guys then. Make sure you follow this channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. That is where I can respond very, very quickly. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Give me a whole fist bump before you go. Check out some of my other videos and have a great rest of your day, guys. Valley flying. Ouch!